Yes, students, about theory, this online training, online teaching and learning, I think is fair only for those where network is, is issue for them recorded sessions, recorded videos will help. It's my view. Previously also I asked the feedback about that and you said that recorded videos are helpful or beneficial. But only my expectation and it's from all you have to complete assignments that will prove that you went through or that video you are studying you are learning but only by going through the video study may not complete discussion also necessary so nearly for all lectures i asked you do you have any doubt or any question then we do discuss those questions in case you you remain with my always expectation remains that you should be with the doubts to clear the concepts and those doubts certainly will be there if you want to grow your concept grow your learning don't only adhere to those videos videos for explanatory purpose but for further reading purpose you have to go through the literature from the internet readily available or you can come in the college and you can avail the library facility you can get the books so that ready study material you will get and while studying that if you problem if you come across problem then here this platform i make available or open for the discussion so is the way with, with which we are going in this pandemic period video preparation and then the if questions are there you have to ask and assignment completion is it fair just few reply spontaneous yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir okay. okay now what i want from you from for inorganic chemistry syllabus coverage i am saying wherever descriptive things are there i feel that conceptual clarity is necessary i had given you explanation now i want to give you the exercise in addition to completion of the notes from the video you have to go through textbook for example in paper 2 ions in the aqueous medium syllabus is there so those ions in the aqueous medium majoritically you have to study at your own you have to read and if doubts are there let we have so it's a one other angle of the teaching and learning we are following what till now the situation i was expecting that you should prepare and come for lecture but many times it is not found now you have to learn you have to study you have to gather the literature or the content i'll help you to gather the information or the literature one of that help is textbooks from library you can get and you have to read and we'll declare the topic this topic to be study you have to study and on that topic if doubts are there you have to ask or additionally explanation necessary i will what provide in that way our next teaching and learning will be there i repeat today i am discussing the applications of coordination compounds from next week not necessarily next lecture from next week i want that you should go through the books you should go through the various literature and understand the content and wherever issues are there about understanding we will have the discussion in the live session books availability from library or internet if from internet you can get the pdf files or ppts also and one gets one can share to others also likewise you have to study so you are now the college students how far you are curious to know to know the chemistry or to understand the chemistry to learn the chemistry that will be very fine are you following what i am saying yes sir yes sir yeah so today's point is applications of the coordination compounds interesting applications are there and this topic is very very important see first application only is a very interesting one what is the first application extraction process of gold and silver what coordination chemistry is involved there gold or silver forms just wait coordination compounds with cyanide au means what yes au means what au is represent for which element ag means what no yeah no metal you can say common name you can say ag means silver au means gold gold yeah ag cn4 minus or ag cn2 minus such coordination compounds are readily formed by these metals and those can be removed extracted in the form of this complexes so once complexes form their extraction becomes what easy separation becomes what easy metallurgy becomes what the convenient or suitable so to get the pure gold or the silver or these metals coordination chemistry is used coordination compounds will help us to separate or extract those metals is that first point clear yes sir yes sir yeah. yes, 
Yes. Second point is in industry as a catalyst. You might have heard the Roland catalyst or Wilkinson catalyst. Have you heard the name? Yes, Wilkinson catalyst. Yes or no? Have you heard this name? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Heard. Okay, Jigler Nutta catalyst, Wilkinson catalyst. Such many catalysts are there. Organometallic catalysts are there. Where metal and organic group, those are what related. There mainly transition series metal ions are there who are specialized to form coordination compounds. And those transition series element have a property of variation in coordination number. Different coordination number they show. They form complex with variable oxidation states. Using that property, catalysts do function. One example, if I have to mention here, then I work with here for the Wilkinson catalyst. The formula for that is rhodium RH PPH thrice. PPH3 is one ligand. In our chemistry department, new project is there, research lab. There are organometallic compounds. About catalysis work is work will be there. Now MSc students are working on that theoretical work. At least they are doing very soon experimental work. They will start in the college laboratory, research laboratory. And those catalysis, those catalysts will be used to produce different drugs. Drugs means after all, it's a chemical. So pharmaceutical drug is a motive. To prepare those drugs, we need some organometallic catalysis. Not only industry, in research also, these are, these are of very use. So RH is a rhodium. PPH3 thrice, thrice plus is the complex. Yes, students, are you understanding what I am saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So rhodium metal ion, PPH3 is a ligand, is a coordination number. So it can be three, that it can be one. Actually, it's not a coordination as such, but linkage may not be possible with vacancies. When it remains three, then other vacancies may be what the suitable. Actually, rhodium can form octahedral complexes. Out of that, we are with only moiety groups, entities, only at what the three positions. But remaining positions are there vacant. So some additional thing may possible. And that rhodium plus can convert to rhodium plus three. And condition will change. Oxidative addition, reductive elimination. What kind of different steps are there? Next year, the only few catalysts in inorganic chemistry are for your syllabus. But timing, remember, because of coordination chemistry of transition series element, where number of ligands do vary, where coordination number do vary, where oxidation states do vary, reversible reactions are possible. Catalyst, catalysis became a very interesting step. I remember that last year, as a curiosity, one among you have asked the question about the catalysis. I was talking about the general lecture no, of chemistry about catalyst and its importance. I'm not sure whether I had given that example for scope. See, National Chemical Laboratory. In India, two National Chemical Laboratories are there. One at Pune and other at Delhi. National Chemical Laboratory Pune is known for catalysis, organometallic chemistry. All the way research do occur, but there are specialties there of that. Many patterns are there regarding what the catalysis. So, second application of this coordination compound was in catalysis in industrial process because those catalysts are used for manufacturing in efficient way. This polymerization reaction, hydrogenation reaction, hydroformylation reaction, many examples are there that it can be used. Third application, to minimize or to decrease hardness of water or to measure the hardness of the water. Water hardness, hard means what we think the pen if you consider it is hard, a cotton or sponge if I consider soft. In that way that concept is not there. This concept is related to to the few metal ions. Will anybody answer hardness? Water remains with hardness because of which metal ions? Which metal ions are responsible for the hardness? Which in hard water or soft water? Few filters also do remain. Few treatments do remain. Water treatment, if you have to understand, this is one of the important parameters to measure the quality of the hardness. You see water, if you see, take 
hardness is different if you uh, if you take a water from malwan region especially deobag region deobag region it is with lot of minerals i'm talking about the potable water that people they are using or in various uh, hotels that water is there that i'm talking about they are with the ampla filters and many companies branded companies who prescribe their product and they say there they found a lot of trouble because too many times the filters were toward the remove my question is hardness is due to what which metal ions especially calcium right calcium or or and you can say magnesium magnesium calcium magnesium these ions are there which are responsible for hardness what happens because of that in that water suppose if you add soap or detergent then what do you think hard water gives early so early froth froth which is important quality for washing you will get early froth because of that hard water or you will get early froth because of soft water yes that frothing will be froth are you understanding frothing when we are detergent when we are detergent and if we swirl that water you will get the froth and that frothing helps to wash therefore in advertisement also they show no higher the frothing by the saying uh, order and all this is the additional point my point of interest is the frothing so if water remains hard means uh, same quantity of detergent in one particular volume of the water say the water from deobag or malwan and water from koda do you think you will get the same kind of froth certainly not my question is where will there be less froth in you know, hot water sorry hard water or soft water hard water means where calcium and magnesium ions are there froth will be more or high yes frothing will be if hard water then frothing will be complete that no. yes it will be less it will be less why it is less because this magnesium and calcium they do form complexes with the soap so first those ions have to remove after that soap will work so part of the soap or detergent is used to form complex coordination compound with calcium and magnesium the ions because of their hardness is there and then excess of that detergent or soap will be there that will form what the froth therefore for the hard water there is what the less frothing our point of discussion is estimation or calculation of hardness hardness of the water how it is calculated there is one chemical called edta will anybody answer what is the long form of that it is yes. in right tetracycline diamine tetra tetra after that acetic acid tetra acetate actually that remains in ionic form disodium salt of edta is used generally for the preparation of the solution pure edta if you take is not soluble in water because if you want to prepare the solution one thing if you want to take in the burette then it should be soluble edta is not soluble pure edta is not soluble therefore we use sodium salt of edta after ionization is actually four acetic acid are there molecules out of that two do ionize and ionized h plus are there they are replaced by sodium it's a partial neutralization so that we say it is what the acetate acetate so that sodium salt of the edta its solution is prepared and that edta which has minus 2 charge after dissolution sodium becomes free it combines with calcium or magnesium to produce a coordination compound chelate stable compound it is our coordination compound so edta will trap the calcium ions or magnesium ions and when those ions are not are not available or completely over then that edta will combine with indicator complexometric indicators to remain like erichrome black t or fast sulfon black f and that edta will show the color change it is expected to perform that reaction at one particular ph buffer is used for that and we can get what the titration or the end point so edta solution is used for estimation of hardness of the water because of what because of coordination chemistry that's the importance of study of coordination compounds is this point clear yes sir yes yes sir now the third point is yes, purification of metals their coordination chemistry silver and gold for their extraction purpose complexometry is used but during purification of metal sometimes 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 means uh, from ore when we get the metal then some other catalyst we use for example i tell to you uh, platinum is one metal ion 
this platinum it is a class b kind of the metal just timing listen that only class b kind of metal and it prefers to combine with s minus 2 so what we do that iron sulfide remains we don't want iron to be in the form of sulfide then what can we do we can add that platinum we can add lead there we can add such heavy metals so that they will love more than iron so sulfide will go there and from that reverse process can be or the followed only for the extraction or the separation of the iron or some poisoning remains and to avoid that the poisoning poisoning of because of carbon monoxide extra quantity of carbon monoxide as such we use not poisoning from the health point of view i'm talking about industrial point of view then to remove that few metals are used as what scavenger they do remove those unwanted entities because of complex formation so again their tendency to form the coordination compound helps forward the separation so what i want to say for separation from oxygen or sulfur o minus or s minus 2 these heavy metals can be used metals can be used by the way for scavenging activity means purification activity these metals are used timing remember that only few metals remain so those selectively what they trap something and the purification occurs there yes are you following what i am saying yes sir yes sir Yeah. Now, yes, sir. Next, next, yes, sir. next point. Chelate therapy, removal of toxic portion of metals in the body is a very interesting term, very interesting phenomenon. When heavy metal poisoning occurs, poisoning means amount of copper in liver increases, or any other, even in blood also, few heavy metals goes like lead or copper. Arsenic is there, but arsenic nowadays very rarely possible. But industrial area is there, and if that it effluents, water effluent remain with that arsenic contamination, or the fish or sea product, whatever we are using remains with that heavy metal, then that poisoning occurs to us also. So to remove that, this chelation therapy is what use. This chelation therapy. That chelation therapy means they can form the com that see what are the metals are there. They can form the complex with the Ligand having ring-like structure. Ligand, uh, ligand who can establish ring-like structure. EGTA is a one kind of chelate, one form of what the chelating ligand, not chelate, chelating ligand. So such chelates are added, and those chelates will combine with lead plus two present in our body, or mercury plus two, or plus one, or palladium plus two, or copper plus or copper plus two. Because of that, what will happen? which of these ions are there those can be removed unwanted things are there those can be removed therefore it is therapy is called as chelate therapy chelate therapy have you heard this name chelate therapy before because due to this due to these heavy metals the functioning of kidney comes in a trouble to remove this then the chelate therapy is the those drugs are what the intravenous drugs may be there or oral drug generally the intravenous drug is what used it depends where we have to affect that where we have to target yes is this clear yes sir yes sir now see the next treatment of lead poisoning actually that i said before only chelate therapy edta form chelate chelate complex so this these two points are what same already discuss if lead toxicity have you heard this lead poisoning uh, word before one product was there food product was there and that food product product was banned manufacturing was banned temporarily because of that lead poisoning what was that product before pandemic that switch, that that occurred one food product was there famous food product was there famous company it was found in that food product lead content was more because the wheat they were using that was with the more lead that is a their argument what was that food product yes it was coming in pouches hint i've given maggi oh great yes maggi and that maggi was banned why for lead poisoning lead poisoning means lead content was more there than expectation therefore there is a ban so that lead poisoning treatment is edta treatment edta forms what chelate and chelate therapy was our previous point so that point comes under the chelate therapy only now last point last point so it is a very interesting point for tumor cancer treatment which compounds are used platinum compounds are used to inhibit the growth of the tumor practically it is found that's a compound called cis platinum combines with tissues or those ingredients from the tumor so because of that combination that it comes in what the excretory portion it can be removed and tumor growth can be forbidden or inhibited or can be stopped so what is that cis platinum that cis platinum 
is none other than coordination compound. Is this application clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So let us revise. How how many know the applications? Let me see. What was the first application? Few valuable materials were there. Elements were there. Gold and silver. Yes, silver or gold extraction. Sorry, that's the coordinate chemistry is helpful. Second, at least any one student. Catalysis. Mm, okay, okay. In industry, industrial manufacturing process for catalyst preparation or catalysis, these coordinate compounds are for our help. Third application. Hardness of water. EDT. Hardness of water. Hardness, hardness, hardness. Hardness of the water determination. Determination, analysis, analytical chemistry, and to minimize that hardness, also it can be used. But EDT is not good for health. Partly, if it goes, no issue. But too much should not go. So different treatments are there. Ion exchange treatment is there to remove the hardness. But let we know whether hard hardness is there or not, and if it is there, to how much extent it is there. So for that purpose, it is used. Yes. Fourth application. Purification of metal. Yes, in metallurgy for purification of metals or to avoid the poisoning it is used yes fifth application chelate therapy yes chelate therapy sixth one actually chelate therapy and the lead poisoning for that edta is used no that edta comes under what the chelate therapy only it is a part of the chelate therapy yes sixth one what is the last to inhibit to forbid yes yes cis platin as just example cis platin is a compound Platinum, ammonia, platinum is there. Pt plus two. Mrs. Platin formula for cis platin is Pt NH three twice Cl two. It is a cis platin and it is used for cancer treatment, tumor treatment. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So students. Yes, sir. Yeah. Majority portion of that paper one unit two is covered. Where explanations are there is covered. It's a your responsibility to complete that study. And while studying, if doubts are there, it's my responsibility to clear your doubts. Yes. Any problem now? Any question? No, sir. Yes, I sure. Do no, you have any sir. question? You raise the hand. Therefore, I'm asking. No, sir. Okay, okay. His hand is raised there. Okay, fine. Uh, so, students, work from now to get the books. Tomorrow, let me talk about the paper two, unit two, ions in aqueous medium. Some discussion I will do, and major portion you have to work. So, is the expectation about your study and planning of the pattern of the study? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. So, students. <laughs> If no question, then shall we stop? Yes, sir. Or if question is there, ask me. No problem. Only two replies I found. Therefore, I am asking. At least one more reply I want. Shall I stop? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Then I stop the presentation. I stop the recording also, and I declare today's session is over. Quit now. Session is over.